Hey there everyone, this is Alcan, it's December 17th, it's the 17th place and I'm at my computer because man, we got a lot of things to do on my computer actually. I didn't get to use the screen cleaner thing yet, but it's okay. So like, we've got an official thing here that I didn't expect, but we also got these unofficial here, such as Dog in the Grass who has a little, <laughs> little Christmas something, it's PAL! It's got a nice little custom pal with a swoof. Oh, that's pretty funny, and I'm glad that happened. But we also got a bit more substantive, uh, unofficial ROM hack here from KM Mouse. Going all, hello! Uh, so I know I'm pretty quiet, high in the background for the most part in here, so I haven't exactly done much to stand out. I mean, other than my question about Cusa Grande on the video the other day, I think we've shared like 10 words of text with one another. <laughs> but I've been watching you for a long time, like I want to say the original VIP 4 playthrough, I think? Maybe? I forget. And you might be tired of hearing it by now. But you've entertained your way through some pretty dark days of my... Let, let me tell you, man. You never get tired of hearing that. I don't think you ever get used to hearing that. Uh, your personality just gives infectious positivity. Even when the games grind you down, you never give up. <laughs> Most of the time. <laughs> Getting real here. <laughs> so I want to do a little thing for you. But I'm not a good artist, basically, and I'm mostly busy due to the season and all. But I know one thing I'm good at and wouldn't take all too long, so I took a bit of time and here we are. I know you're a fan of fighting games, but what's your opinion on wrestling games? Basically, I'm in a art based version of Unfire Pro Wrestling World, though. I needed to mod the extra art. Really? For the mod data for the art? Really? Really? Jump man? <laughs> Third down with the rock. Uh, anyway, happy all these Rao Cow. Hope you and your Christmas ghost had a great one. Let's see. I round. Oh man. Well, look at that. Uh, I'll put a link. In the thing so you can see it better but no yeah you got with the we got with the power up you know different power ups there <laughs> this is really funny I don't know how powerful of an editor oh geez yeah and there we got a description hello everyone this is Al Cal this is a uh, YouTuber Mario hacker and all-around awesome guy and Mario has come to fire pro to spread his brand of monkey cheese craziness to everyone is finished. The top rope Meteora Jumpman. His various other stomping attacks really evoke his Mario affinity. His appearances are based on the Rue Animation, Super Base, Chibi Cow, Post Production, and Old Timey Hammer Brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. Full AI basically moves. So, like, that's right. I'm heavy. I wonder how much work that is. Like, I have nothing to base myself on, so I really don't know. But I really love the idea. Like, thank you for setting aside and do something so original and also just, like, so unique. Thank you. And, unexpectedly, one of the two licensed greeter for today actually just sent me, like, there it says 43 minutes ago, like, very recently before... I started filming this. Uh, you were lucky this got here in time, my from the Hero Harmut. Greetings from Ireland, Rao Cow. I hope this message find you well and not too late for your recording. I told myself I'd contribute to this advent adventure in a more direct fashion this year. And well, here I am. Since this year contained the end of an era and the start of a new one, I figured that the gift I chose would be appropriate. What are you... I wonder what you're talking about there. It probably won't send you into one of your trademark fits of laughter that a few of other gifts have, but I nevertheless hope you like it. It's been quite some time since I first stumbled into your channel, and I've stuck around ever since. It's been a privilege seeing you evolve as a content creator over the years. Where one you almost when where one you almost exclusively did smooth ROM hacks, you now have a number of officially released titles under your belt, and even an RPG, which many of us never thought would actually happen. What a journey it's been. Yeah, this year especially, yeah, has been uh, a real genre opener in a weird way. I blame the fact that I'm letting Patreon more and more control over what I play and 
that's kind of the result. It's now I find myself at something of a loss in finding how best to express my appreciation for the many, many hours of joy, pain, and screen shouting you've provided in your tenure. I admit that I've been struggling with myself for quite some time now, but you've been a constant anchor in the background of my life for the better part of a decade. If I were more eloquent or better with words, I'm sure I could find some poetic or inspiring way to convey it, but for lack of that, I'll just say thanks. And I hope that suffice. There's a brand new decade of dying right at the end. Uh, oh, no like shona duit, no no leg hona guit. Oh, sorry, <laughs> no leg hona guit. Maybe I'm sorry. I'm just defacing your language now, and I feel bad. I'm gonna open up your gift now. Darkness, just momentarily. Uh, the carpet underneath my feet is not super precise, but that's fine. Here we are now. Yeah, so today, here we go, day 17. Yes, he's got this box, but today's also oral answers day. Let's just open up this box here. Let's just get right into it. There we go. Uh, that's, oh, what's this? Oh, wait a second. And many more. The complete epic. <laughs> like, I heard about this. That, yeah, there's a comic that's a crossover between Sanic and Mega Man. Welp! And then that's it's like official. Well, oh, it's a little damaged. Maybe slightly used. <laughs> Still, though. <laughs> that's so good. That's so good. No, yeah. That, okay, that's probably the author's then. Uh, maybe, yeah, 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 that would make sense. Oh, man, yeah, from Archie Comic. Oh, that is so cool, though. Man, that is so cool. You nailed it. Thank you so much. Uh, now, also, or now, well, man, that is a reflective bag. Like, you don't need to use your imagination that much to get a, an idea of how things are. Now, the thing is, the the official uh, instructions by Red Mage did not include a letter, but here it clearly says oral answer, and it is addressed to Mr. Cow. Uh, it's not really my name, but it's something you can kind of attribute to me. So let's see what's going on here. There we go, I just tore apart that letter in a way that has nothing to do with how letters are constructed. Alright, let's see what happens. It's just a little, little sheet of paper. It's very... Oh yeah, oral answer, okay. Dear Mr. Cow, thanks for the decade of entertainment and joy. To celebrate, I've enclosed a stupid horse. <laughs> Be sure to press the hand multiple times for the full effect. With love, Uncle Aura, aka Oral Answer. Got ourselves a horse, huh? And it's stupid, huh? And you gotta shake its hand, huh? I don't wanna rip it. Alright, give me a moment here as I try to just, like, not destroy this bag and try to just kind of slide open the tape. You get to hear some sweet tape getting on tape sounds. That's pretty cool. Actually, I don't know how it sounds like. From where you guys are at that distance, which is to say... Not very far at all. There you go. Now we just gotta handle the central location. Um, let's see here. No, that oh, that one's kind of hard to get at. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I should probably light up. The smart thing would be to prep these, but oh, look at that big guy! Man, what a huge guy! Actually, ugh. Oh, well, every year I get a slightly larger Yoshi. <laughs> alright, alright. Nothing else in the bag. Squeeze the hand, huh? <laughs> That's a train. Well, that just speaks for itself. Oh, you shouldn't go there, man. <laughs>